Hello, welcome back to our channel. Today we're starting off a new game. We're trying out Beyond Two Souls. So let's get right into this. With a strange gift. The ability to see what no human being has ever seen before. It's all mixed up in my head. The images, the sounds, the smell. I need to remember. Put things in order right up to this moment. Remember who I am. If I had to say how it all began, I might just as well start here. I found you by the side of the road, in the middle of nowhere. Was there an accident? Did, did someone try to hurt you? How about a name? Someone I could contact? You must have family. Friends? Someone who could tell me who you are. Hey. You don't talk much, do you? Well, if you don't help me, I can't help you. Could be a scene right out of Stranger Things. Is that a scar? Is that recent? I've got to stop them. They have no idea what they're up against. Tell them to wait until I get there. Get back to them immediately, you hear me? You've got to stop them! Goddamn fools. Something bad is gonna happen. I know. They're coming. That was an interesting intro. Not sure how she took out a whole SWAT team, but I'm sure we're going to learn that as we move on through this. Ah, 
there you are. How you doing today, Jody? Good? <laughs> I hate to bother you when you're playing and all, but uh, I believe it's time, honey. All right, we are in control. It's going to take a little while to figure these controls out, however. Come on, girl, you'll have plenty of time to play later. All right, Megan's waiting for us. Come on. I don't have any more Hi, change. Cole. Seriously? Hey, Alan. It's never a good sign when they're experimenting on children. It was due two weeks ago. Hello, precious. Don't you look pretty today? Better late than never, I guess. Here we are. Rain this weekend. We had a lot of rain this year. I suppose that's true. Hasn't been particularly cold, though. Hey, Jody. How's your day been so far? Pretty good. That's quite the setup they have to observe her. Okay, we're gonna put this on now. Remember? It's just like a crown. Oh, yeah. Oh, now you're a little princess. <laughs> Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm right next to her if you need me, okay? Some sort of psychic test where they measure brain waves. At least that's what this looks like. Hey Jody, can you hear me? Okay, let's start. Kathleen is next door. And she has the same cards as you. And we're going to get her to choose one and see if you can tell us which one she chose. You think you can do that? Good. All right, let's go for it. First card. Okay, what's happening here? We're able to travel through walls. See what's going on in the other room. Okay, so she has a star card. Now do we pick the right card to let them in on the fact that we have powers? Or do we purposely throw this test? Next card. Next card. Kinda wonder what would happen if we throw the test versus passing it, if it would steer us down a different a different pathway. Very good, Jody. Let's try something else. There's some building blocks on the table in the other room. You think you can make them fall over? Good, Jody. Anything else in the room you can move? I'm sorry. 
sorry, but I'm done. Okay, Jody, honey, the experiment is over. It's locked. The door's locked. I'm no, Kathleen, it's not locked. locked. It's probably get just stuck. Give here. us a moment. Get me out of here now. Calm down, Kathleen. Go get the door. Now you have to stop now, Jody. The test is over. You need to stop. Leave it. I didn't. Don't touch anything. <laughs> Okay, Jody, honey, the experiment is over. It will never be over. So she seems to be partnered up with some sort of spirit. And they seem to be working together at the moment, at least. All right, I guess we're going on to the next chapter. This dress sucks. I knew I should have worn something else. The dress is perfect. You look great. I feel like everyone's looking at us. That's not just a feeling. Everyone is looking at us. But the most important thing, act natural. If anyone speaks to you, you just smile. So do you want me to act natural, or do you want me to smile? I didn't know you had a sense of humor. Only when I'm scared to death. Brian, I'm delighted you could attend. Always a pleasure, Sheik Ahmed. I uh, would like you to meet my assistant, Elizabeth. I was unaware that American diplomacy was undertaken with such disarming charm. The pleasure is mine, Elizabeth. Gentlemen, I give you back your host. We'll talk later, Ahmed. Until then, Ryan. He hates me. All the time he was imagining my head on a stick. I think he found you charming. I should be flattered. Okay, I'm gonna shake some hands, blend in, find some more quiet. You know what you have to do. Ah, uh, Ambassador, you're a sight for sore eyes. I need to find a quiet place. This is fantastic. It's All right, not where is gonna be a quiet place? I wonder if we can leave this room and go somewhere where there isn't all these people. I'm still into the Mustang, honestly. You act like you can't afford three for It's not the money. I just remember how it used to feel when my dad drove me around. I want that back. A washroom would be a safe bet. I don't know, are you ready? There's a large painting in one of the rooms upstairs. Behind it is a safe. The documents we're looking for are inside. But there are guards and cameras, so you have to be careful, you got it? Okay, so we're trying to head upstairs. Trying to get the feel for these controls when we're controlling Aiden, who seems to be a ghost. Okay, that's how we go back to her. She's not in good shape. How do we move forward? Hurry, Aiden. 
It hurts like hell when you're too far away. Okay, how do we get upstairs That's now? And where is this painting? It's not that painting, I guess. This is no time to mess around. Look for an office. On the first floor. An office with a portrait of the sheep. This is the place. There's gotta be a switch somewhere. So we need to a move the painting. To open it. Find it, I did. حسام اذهب والكي نظرة على مكتب السفير حاضر سأذهب حالا شيء غريب على الشاشة Shit The camera was on oh, The card's coming Don't move anything or he'll sound the alarm أنا في المكتب كل شيء في مكانه Gotta think. There must be another way. Okay, we gotta mess with the cameras somehow. This is the place. I don't know. You know what to do. Crap. You gotta distract the guard first. Alright, what can we move to distract him? Okay, nobody will be able to monitor the main office now. We should be safe. I guess we paused the camera. See if you can open the safe. Good job. Now we have to read the documents. Make it quick. I can't hold on much longer. Okay, now don't move. Okay, I guess she's reading and she's transcribing them. And then they'll probably run away with the copies after. من أحد هناك الرجاء الخروج من هناك على الفور ولكن ماذا تفعل هنا إن هم رهد السيدات انصرف من هنا حسنا. أيها حسنا. المنحرف انصرف is she on our side or is she someone else Sorry, I can't do anything to help you. I don't know if she just stole oh, no. our documents or if she was sent to pick them up for us. It's kind of a cool concept for these two. One spirit and one human working together to complete missions, so to see how this game progresses but I'm gonna say we should wipe the blood off before we go back out to the party not really sure if we should be chasing that girl or if that was done on purpose as part of the mission
Jody, all right? Don't touch me! I want to go now. Right. Yeah, we're leaving. Well, that was a little awkward for an enter or an exit. I hope they explain how these two got b uh, bound together, Aiden and uh, Jody. Be cool to see some of the backstory a little bit more. But we'll play through another chapter, I guess. Just try and get a good feel for this first video. Learn what we can about these characters. Listen, I'm not sure. Maybe I shouldn't go. Jody, you've been begging me for weeks. You're not going to back up now. I don't know anybody there. They might all hate me and... Stress is awful. Let's just go. Just take a deep breath. There's no reason to panic. It's just a birthday party. I'm sure everybody will like you. You'll have fun, maybe meet some new friends. Go on. Oh, don't forget your present. It's a book of poetry by Poe. It's 50 years old and very rare. I'm sure she'll like it. Don't worry. It's going to be all right. I'll pick you up at five. Have fun. That doesn't sound like a good gift for a girl her age. It's strange that they're letting her out to go to a birthday party as well. Like, was this before or after she destroyed the SWAT team? They knew that about her letting her out to a party is crazy. Hey, Jody, come in. Hi. Hey, Kirsten, you come in? I gotta go. Come in, Jody. Don't be shy. Hey, Jody, right? Come on, we're in the living room. Some girls from my school and least Dorothy guys we could find. Oh, is that a present for me? Cool. Thanks. I'm off, darling. I'll look after your friends and don't do anything stupid, all right? Sure, Mom, whatever you say. Oh, finally, she gets the hint. Hey everyone, this is Jody. She's in Unit 4 with my mom. Unit 4? The paranormal department? Ooh, what you do there? Bend spoons or speak to dead people? No. Stuff like that? No. Woo! Uh, <laughs> party time! I'll get the beer. Guys, do the shutters. Girls, do the candles. And Jody, you can take care of the music. Let's get crazy! Alright, I guess we're DJ. Pop seems most appropriate for a party. What kind of garbage is that? Ugh, slide over. We'll put on something from this century. Something really popping. Kirsten, you're a genius. That must be some war. Jody, you want one? Yeah, cool, sure. <laughs> hey, don't choke on it. I bet it's your first time. No, I've had some before. <laughs> of course you have.
without we stop dancing, they're going right back to it. And they kind of stopped when we started. Want some? We're just kind of going sure. with the flow of this party for now. First time, huh? They ain't got me that way too. <coughs> I wonder if we get all drunk and stuff if the ghost gets messed up too. If it starts like flying all crooked. Okay, Jody, you're acting kind of weird. Hey, pale face. You sure you feel all right? You're not looking too hot, Jody. <laughs> right, where are we Ooh, supposed to go? You look kind of scary like that. <laughs> We're kind of like stuck at the moment. You okay, Jody? on some NPCs. I know what you're thinking. You're wondering why we're here. I'm thinking the same thing. I know, you told me. I just wanted to see what it would be like to go out and, and have friends. This is not what I expected. got to be tough going to a party if you've had zero social interaction your entire life at this point. You're for sure going to be a little bit of a social pariah at that point. Sitting down is our only option left at this point. Hi. Hi, I'm Matt. Jody, right? I've never seen you at school before. You don't take classes on bass? I'm in a different program with with my own teacher. It's, it's kind of boring. <laughs> I, I I never get to see people they my age. In a I, I suppose I've gotten used to it. So you work with Kirsten's mother? Yeah. We work in the in the same lab. She thought it would be a good idea for me to come and spend time with people my age, so uh, here I am. <laughs> I used to live in, in London before I moved here two years ago. And you? Where did you live before? New York. Man, I love New York. It's awesome. I went there once and it blew me away. Do you have any hobbies? Anything you do for, like, fun? I surf any chance I get, and I play in a band with a bunch of friends. <laughs> and you, what are you into? It's gonna sound really boring. I, I like to read, and I like sports. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't, I, I can't leave the base, so it, it sort of limits things. Can I, can I ask you something? Why are you in Unit 4? I'd rather not talk about it. Sorry, 
I'm so stupid. I, I hope I haven't, like, upset you or anything. No, that's okay. Oh, slow dance. Are you, you up for it? Sure. I'm sure you hear this all the time, but you're really pretty, you know? Do you say that to all the girls you meet? <laughs> you're not like other girls. I mean, there's, there's something special about you. You have no idea. I think you're pretty special, too. Guys, guys, why doesn't Jody give us a demonstration of her super mega powers? <laughs> no, Great no, idea. no, I, I'd pay to see that. Uh, forget it, it's just a little bull. Yeah, come on, Jody, show us what you can do. Okay, Jody, you up for demonstration? All right, then. So, what are you gonna do, Jody? Just be quiet. And don't move. Oh, I'm scared already. I just want my pants. <laughs> Shut up, Stephen. Shit, that's pretty scary. How was that? There. I saw something. Be stupid, Emma. There's nothing. Okay, I've had enough. Yeah, me too. Uh, that, that was really scary. I didn't mean to, to frighten anyone. Sorry, I, you know, you guys insisted and... Right, okay guys, it's time to eat that delicious cake and most important to open my birthday <sighs> gifts. Enjoy your 50 Actually, the cake can wait. Book. I'm opening my gifts first. Love, Jen, XXX. Oh, that's nice, babe. I bet it's knee socks. A thong! Just exactly what I needed! Now you can stop stealing your mom's. <laughs> An imperial chance of finding a decent boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> My future lover wants to thank you for making his life more interesting. What is that? An old book. It smells funky. It's a really rare collection. Uh, poems by Edgar Allan Poe. A curl and who? What, did you steal this from your grandpa's library? No, no, and it's really rare. Yeah, just like your dress. <laughs> <laughs>
No, but seriously, is this a joke? I can't believe you came all the way to my birthday party just to give me this old crap. And she thinks she's so clever, but she's just a little lab rat. A freaky little lab rat. Yeah, she's been following me around like a puppy all evening, begging for it. Oh, and she's a slut too. I never wanted to invite her, my mom made me. Yeah, she's a slut, a slut and a witch. We should like, do something to her. What do you do with witches? You burn them. Ah! Get her! <laughs> I don't think you want to. Please! Stop! Stop! Oh, mistress Let of the obscure darkness! Let me go! Bring forth your mighty power! <laughs> <laughs> please! Please, let me no, out! From the first moment I saw I'm her. I'm begging you, please, let me out! Did someone say K? Please! I wanna get out! Please, I wanna get out! I'm begging yeah, you! Please let me out! <laughs> Aiden just gonna let her out, or is he gonna do something to mess with them to get even? <laughs> How do we take control of Aiden now? I didn't. I can't breathe. Come and help me. Is it Aiden or Aiden? Maybe it's Aiden. Just leave or we can get revenge. Go, Aiden. I mean, you have to learn why not to mess with the psychic girl. me. I didn't do it this time. Probably mad at you, you locked her in a closet and burned her with a cigarette. Someone here. Help! Help! 
than I was expecting. They're getting messed up by the ghost a little bit. I think that's going to do it for today's episode so come back and see our next video in this series and as always thanks for watching bye for now